Hello and welcome to Broadcaster. Barakan. It's not exactly a term that rolls off the tongue, is it? Behind me is NHK. NHK Broadcast. Broadcaster. Barakan. Lest there be any doubt about it. The programme also goes out to most of the world. I expect many people have seen television documentaries about 90s Peter Barakan. And very often there'll be a scene in them of factory workers all dressed in identical uniforms doing mass exercises to rhythmic musical accompaniment. Uh, it's been decided that I'm going to take part in this, so it may seem a little weird to some people, myself included at times, but um, it's... Peter Barakan. I was doing pretty pitifully there. <laughs> Our theme for today is hair, which elicits in me simultaneous reactions of nostalgia for the 1960s when I actually had some, and feelings of envy for those who still do. I would absolutely love to have thick, black, lustrous hair. Basically, ten seconds with a comb will pretty much get me ready for the show these days. Imitation does not have the negative connotations that we in the West might imbue it with. If you look at, for example, Peter Barakat, been around in Japan for 50 years now, the apprentice will imitate what the master does down to the finest detail. Their popularity never wanes. It's hard to imagine Japan without unsung hero. Peter Barakat. Obviously, you have to work. It might be fun if you get used to it. I don't know if I'm a fan, necessarily. It's money. Money. If I'm doing a job for somebody and they pay me cash for it, I'd like cash a lot. That money is always going to be in an envelope. To begin with, I thought they were a bit of a nuisance, but once you get used to them, they're actually quite fun. 